Hello, Natalie Elizabeth, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm very fine. Very good, very good. Welcome. How do you feel today? I feel excellent, ready for the class. All right. Have you been working on the platform? Yes, in this moment I'm, I am working in, I'm finished the section one. The midterm exam one? Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good. So you already finished section one and section two? Yes. Oh, okay, that's excellent. And how do you feel the exercises on the platform? Um, the, I feel, well, the grammar, I, I think that I need to study more to complete the sentence or to organize the sentence. Oh, okay. Um, for example, let me, let me share with you an example here. If you say, for example, uh, let me share with you this uh, sentence. Okay, if I had studied uh, medicine, medicine, so if I say to you, if I had studied medicine, that is a past regret. Si yo hubiera estudiado medicina, right? So that is a past regret. And what is the, the result? It's going to be a present result. For example, I would be a doctor, right? So in this case, I have past regret present result do you understand yes and but what it, about with hypothetical situation now if i say past result a uh, past regret past result if i had studied medicine then if I had studied medicine, I would have been, past participle, a doctor, okay? So in this context, I have past regrets. Si yo hubiera estudiado medicina, I would have been a doctor. Yo hubiera sido doctor. So in the second example, I have past regret, past result. In the first one, I have past regret, present result. Okay, I understand. All right. Uh, do you have another question? Uh, yes, with Hypothetical situation is the same grammar. Can you give me an example? Uh, if I <clears throat> had, had, if I study, had study, Mathematics. Comma. I will. Have. Be an engineer. Okay. 
Okay. So in this one, I have, if I had studied mathematics, past regret, I would have been an engineer, past result. And if I want to do present result, I can say, if I had studied mathematics, I would be an engineer. So in this context, I have past regret, present result. In the first one, if I had studied mathematics, past regret, I would have been an engineer, past result. Do you see the difference? Yes, I see. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Another question, somebody? Another question, anybody? Do you guys understand this topic? Does everybody understand this topic? Yes, everything's good. Okay. Or you can say, for example, um, you can say, if I had saved money last year, si yo hubiera ahorrado dinero el año pasado, I could have, I could have buy, bought, bought, B-O-U-G-H-T, I could have bought a new car. So in this example, I have if I had saved money last year, past regret, si yo hubiera ahorrado dinero el año pasado, I could have bought a new car. Past result, yo hubiera comprado un carro nuevo. In the past. Now, if I had saved money, Last year, si yo hubiera ahorrado dinero el año pasado, I could buy a car this year. Yo podría comprar un carro este año. So the second one is past regret, present result. Do you understand? Yes. Another question? Is this clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Can I erase the examples? Can I erase the examples? Can I erase the examples? Not yet. Yes. Okay. So in yesterday's class, who can tell me what information we were practicing in yesterday's class? Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Uh, yesterday we we were talking about an experience in a in a coffee shop, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we work in pairs to mm -hmm. to tell our experience. Correct. Very good, Maritza. Let me have one volunteer. 
and I would like for you to tell me about your favorite coffee shop. Let me have one volunteer and I would like for you to tell me about your favorite coffee shop. For example, uh, today I went to Texaco on Boulevard Los Héroes and, and I bought a an almond and coconut frappe and I ate a banana cinnamon sweet bread. I enjoyed the experience because the the frappe was very delicious. It was cold, like a frozen. It, the environment was nice because it was not hot. It was a cool place with air conditioner. I liked the cup that it was served in and uh, the place was quiet. It wasn't crowded. They had soft music. I was able to conversate. And uh, the price was not expensive. It cost $3. I think for the quality and the taste, it's worth it. Another, let me have one volunteer. Nobody. Hi, teacher. Okay, Mirna, go ahead, Mirna. Share with the class your experience. Okay, the Starbucks is a popular coffee shop with a nice environment. I like cappuccino coffee, and there is a delicious food that you can try. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Where is your favorite coffee, uh, Starbucks? Where is your favorite Starbucks located? In Metro Centro Santa Ana. All right, excellent, excellent. There is a Starbucks near my house uh, in Torre Futura. Ah, okay. I have never been there, but I have seen it. Ah, okay. Excellent, Mirna, thank you. Another volunteer? Teacher. Natalie, go ahead. Natalie, share with us your experience at a coffee shop. I have a question. If I don't drink coffee? Um, you can speak about maybe, what do you drink? Uh, uh, juice only. <laughs> juice, okay. You can speak about your favorite juice place. Okay, my favorite juice place is near to my house. It's called a Freeze. And I like it because it, he makes a delicious juice <laughs> with different fruit. And also, uh, they, I buy fruit different kind of fruit like pineapple, bananas, and apples with me with honey and uh, some grants like avena. Oatmeal. Meal. Oatmeal. And avena oat. we say Oat, oat meal. Oatmeal. Oat oatmeal. Okay. With oatmeal. And it's very <clears throat> uh, cheap and that's all. <laughs> all right. Good job. How much does it cost? 
the use cost uh, one dollar and the fruit the same one dollar too excellent excellent okay very good um thank you natalie for your participation uh does anybody else want to participate okay so today we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at the following activity in the following activity we're going to be looking at section 2.0 by the end of this lesson participants will understand how to use infinitive clauses to describe purpose describing a purpose please take note Hi. For you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, for example, you can say, in order to learn English, you need to practice or you can say in order to save money you need discipline or in oops in order to be fit, you need to diet and exercise. Or you can express it without in order. You can say, for example, you can say, in order to learn English, you need to practice, or you can say, to learn English, you need to practice. Or you can say, in order to save money, you need to, you need discipline. To save money, you need discipline. Or to be fit, to be fit, you need to diet and exercise. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Do you have any questions? 
No, it's the same meaning, right? Correct, it's the same meaning. Okay. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. So it's optional. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Or you can say... In order for you to learn English, in order for you to learn English, you have, you have to practice or you can say for you to learn English you have to, have to practice, practice. Uh -huh. or you can say in order for you to save money you have to be disciplined or for you to save money you have to be disciplined Or you can say, oops, in order for you to be fit, you have to diet and exercise. Or you can say, for you, to be fit, you have to diet and exercise. All right. Any questions? No, questions? no question. Questions at this moment? No question, teacher. It's no clear. Question. Okay. So let's finish the video. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Okay. So what I want you to do in the discussion box over here is I want you to give me five examples using two and five examples using four. You can speak about business, English, exercise, money, family, entertainment, future plans, whatever. Five using two and five using four. And I want you to write your examples here in the discussion box. Your pairs can work together and also write the same examples, right? For example, if Mirna and Katya work together, you can write the same examples. If Roxana and Doris work together, you can write the same examples. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Any questions right now? Mm, no question. Mm. Okay. Uh, Natalie Elizabeth Garcia, a teacher, I can say in order, in order I read. 
in order I read a receipt book, I have to cook some recipes. No, 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 no. Ahí, ahí está diciendo, para yo leer un libro de recetas, tengo que cocinar las recetas. Not really, not really. Eh, ¿Qué tiene que hacer para leer el libro? Understand some vocabulary or the steps that I need to follow. Eh, you can say, you can say something like, you can say something like, eh, you can say something like, in order to learn how to cook, right? Para poder aprender a cocinar, I need to read a recipe book, right? Para aprender a cocinar, necesito leer un libro de recetas. Or you can say, to learn how to cook, I need to read a recipe book. Or you can say, in order for me to learn how to cook, I have to read a recipe book. Or you can say, for me to learn how to cook, I have to read a recipe book. ¿Tiene sentido? Yes, teacher. Does, yes, that, teacher. Make, does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Preguntas antes de irnos a parejas? Questions? Okay. We're going to work in pairs and you are going to write the examples. Five examples with two and five examples with four. You can write the same examples as your partner. Ready, let's go. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Okay. I um we have to make uh five sentences right with two and five with with four. Oh. Yes. I write the first to have my own house next year. I need to say money until today. Okay, I'm going to write. Okay, the next one. To have my house. I need to 
Number two, wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. You, number two. Two. Um, two. 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 Um, two. 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 Many pets. <laughs> I, I, I like animals. Okay, don't worry. I think I do have many pets. I have, I need to have a big house, maybe? Yes, yes. I need to have a big house. Do you have many pets? Yes. I need to have a big house. Okay. Um, number three. Um, to to understand to understand um, native speakers. English native, English, English native speakers, uh, you need to um, to pay attention, to pay attention uh, to their pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, that's for that's for yeah. So to be happy in your life. Me. <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. But I think you you don't uh, take uh, person. I don't know how to say not to make it personal. Ah. Uh, <laughs> how to say? You you have to be how do um. Perfect, Do you do you remember the the adjective? Carefree. Yes. I think it's carefree. Carefree. Okay. You need Happy. to be carefree. Happy. Okay. To be carefree. Okay, number five. <laughs> um, to um, to make um, for you to learn for you to learn English, you have to practice and. To learn. Eh, pueden compartir grammar. sus pantallas si quieren para que alguien pueda estar viendo las pantallas. Yeah, Sergio, Sergio. I am using my cell phone. Sergio, do you? Eh, I don't know. Eh, I have this example. I don't know what do you think about it. Conscientious Let me see. Okay, in order to learn how to cook, 
Yes, but in, chair. Case, in our case is to drive a car. Teacher, I don't know if it is correct, but teacher is in the in, in our group. I don't know. Yes, I, I am. I, I'm right here. What's going on? Teacher, Hi. I have a question. Yeah, it is correct. Our sentence to drive to in order to drive a car, you need to to have a license. Correct. I need to. What? Correct. In order to have drive a car. I need mm -hmm. to have a license or in order to drive a car, I have to have a license or I need to have a license. Okay, I need to have a license, okay. I need to have a license or I need, or I have to have a license. Okay. Okay. But, ah, okay. Uh, another, another thing is in, uh, in order to to learn or in order uh -huh. to learn to how learn to buy to... in order is in order to learn how to drive yes i need for example yeah. I okay. need to uh, practice, I don't know, practice and read, a, 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 you know, what you, what you, what you, what you, Oh, I need to go to, to the, the school the academy or? Yes, I need to go. A school. Uh -huh. I don't know, how, how uh -huh. do you? Academy, academy driver, I don't know. Academy driver. I don't know. Academy driver. I don't know. For example. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in order to drive a car, I need to have a license. To drive a car, I need to line. For me. Oh no. Is yes. Okay. For, For me to how to yeah. driver. Yes. Or to drive, not to drive. For me to learn how to drive, I need to uh, read uh, signals and take a class, a driver class. Or Yes, driver class. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Roxana? Hello. My microphone is off. <laughs> ah. Sorry, yes. sorry. Okay. I, I don't understand the second part. For me to learn uh -huh. how to drive, I need to what? To read a signal. Because I said, do you go, when do you uh, um, oh. remember a book with signals that uh, stop, uh, turn left, turn, I don't know uh, exactly. Uh, oh, or yeah. I need to know a signal. I need, yeah. To know, uh huh. To know. For you to travel. Eh, pueden compartir sus pantallas para que estén viendo lo que están trabajando. Okay. I I listen uh, the class in the in the in the cell phone. Ah, okay, but I okay, have okay. The, the, the... Give me a moment. I'm going to. Ah, uh, how 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 how. I'm going to present Can you see now? 
Yes. Okay, in this my doing this these sentences. And I have sorry. I have to under understand mm -hmm. the basic grammar grammar rules grammar gra grammar rules grammar it's a correct form right yes then the final sentence is in order you to learn. learn how to cook to cook you, you have to be you have to breathe recipe this book. I think that is all. That is uh, all. I think it's, it's recipe with P. Re only. B E without the I and the Z and the Z. Oh, you're right. Um, without the I recipe. Oh, I can see if there are not. Yes, there is. Uh, with an E with an E at the end. Okay. Okay. And we're going to submit. Now. That's so. We finished. Only five sentences, right? Or no? Oh, I, I think five sentences. Teacher, Good job, Maritza. We did it. We okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, if you see, we make sentence with a letter infinity clauses. For example, for in order to learn. Yes, we made a, a very different uh, sentences. Yes, that's good. For um, me, it's hard. It's hard to learn a plus infinity plus a noun plus and a preposition. It's very hard to remember the, the structure. The structure, yes. I think so. I think the same. And the when we work in in the first section, I have some problems with the regrets and the hypothetical situation. <laughs> I don't remember the structure, and we I, yeah. it's very it's difficult very for difficult. Me. <laughs> it's difficult for me too. I think it's better to practice than memorize 
uh, all the, like the recipe of the sentence. Sure. <laughs> Actually, I during the exercise that my answer was wrong, wrong. And I could. So only one answer was correct. And I don't know why. Oh, in what exercise? And this one. I can I will show you. Give me a moment. And this section one. The knowledge check. No. Mm -hmm. uh, when you give reasons. Uh, when we rearrange. Uh, this one. You can see I put sure. in order, but... Oh. All right, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Zulma, let me hear your examples, please. Um. Let, let me a second. Yes. All the examples? Yes. Well, number one, to grow professionally, you need to be intelligent. Second, in order to understand, understand better, I need to listen before. Mm -hmm. Three, to complete a degree, you need to be persistent. Mm -hmm. Four, in order to have a lot of money, you have to work hard, harder. Mm -hmm. Smarter, not harder, smarter. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. To be successful, you need to think before make a decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 10 sentences? No, no, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Zulma. Excellent. Select somebody, Zulma. Okay. Alexander Munoz. Alexander Munoz. Hello. Hello. Very good. <laughs> Go ahead, Alexander. Okay. Let me hear okay. your examples. Okay. Uh, number one, to drive a car, I need to license. I need to have a license. Okay, okay, to have a license, okay? Okay, okay. In order to drive to drive a car, I need to have a license, okay? In order to learn how to drive, I need to go to the academy drive driver. Oh, academy oh. driver? No, 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 you can say, I need to go to the driving school. Okay, driving school. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for me to learn how to drive, I need to know about a signals and take a driving class. Excellent, excellent. Okay. For me to be health, healthier or healthier, I need to eat vegetable and fruit. Correct, correct. Okay, okay. okay. For me to travel around is around around the world. I need a lot of money, <laughs> <laughs> especially if you want to go to France yeah. or Italy or yes. London. London, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. For me to care the environment, I need to re recycle the garbage. Recycle. Okay, recycle Cycle garbage. Recycled garbage. Very good. Okay, okay, that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay. Excellent. Okay, okay good job, Zulma. Good Thank job, you. Alexander. 
Um, do you have any questions at this moment, guys? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward. And let's look at the next activity. Knowledge check. Instructions. Match each goal with a suggestion. For example, for a health club to attract new people, you need to hire a talented chef. It's a good idea to offer desserts too. You need to keep up with the latest styles. It needs to have great music and lighting. It has to offer the latest types of equipment. It has to provide useful information. What do you think is the best answer or the best suggestion? It has to offer the latest type the latest of equipment. Excellent, excellent. It has to offer the latest types of equipment. In my case, me personally, I really don't care about the latest, latest type of equipment when I go to a gym. It, for me, it's more important the hygiene, right? For a health club to attract new people, it, mm -hmm. it has to have high standard hygiene. Okay. That's, uh, how do you pronounce that, that word? What word? Hygiene. Hygiene. Mm -hmm. Hygiene. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hygiene. Uh huh. In my opinion, because okay. I Teacher, don't. Another, another, another thing. Uh, it could be. It has to have. Um, a professional um, trainers uh, assistant uh, trainers yeah correct correct trainers. correct it has to have professional trainers correct yes i agree mm -hmm. and not to be crowded because ah, okay. sometimes it has to have a lot of space. space. Correct. Space. Space. Oops. Space. <laughs> space. I'm sorry. Yeah. What? What is that? Uh huh. What means is Uh huh. Uh huh. It's Russian. It's Russian. <laughs> space. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. I want you to complete this activity. And then we're going to check together. Okay. I did the I did the the exercise, so I have the the how do you say I don't know respuestas in number two. Uh, in order to run profitable restaurant, you need to hire talent. Yes. To establish a success new dance club, okay, without the means without music and lighting. Uh, it needs to have great music and lighting. Yeah. For a coffee bar to succeed, it's a good idea to offer the service. Okay. In order for a magazine to succeed, 
it has to provide useful information. Use information. Useful. To run a su uh, su successful clothing boutique. You need to keep up uh, with the latest styles. How, how do you pronounce uh, this word? What? Successful? Successful? Uh, successful, I think. Successful, yeah. Maybe it's the right. Uh, okay. Um, wait, wait. Um, okay, try try to, to to do the Did you listen? So, so, did you listen the pronunciation? Successful. Oh, successful. Uh -huh, Hi, right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I was um, telling telling you that maybe we can do a uh, exercise to um, to do um, or to make a sentences for each uh, goal or for a suggestion. Other. For example, for example, for me, like for, for a health club to attract new people, uh, it has to, uh, it has to have a good trainings or professional trainings, for example. Okay. 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 Um, do the number two. Okay, in order to, well, I don't know how to say profitable, profitable restaurant. Yeah. I don't know how to say profitable, <laughs> profitable, I don't know. Prof profitable. Profitable. I, I don't know, okay. I was profitable, okay. <laughs> profitable. Profitable. Profitable, yes. Okay. Um I think um you need to like the teacher said and the high stand hygiene, hygiene, high standard. Two and um, to offer um, good um, plats. I know. Okay, it's is for number two. Yes. Okay, can you say I, another? Yes, I think like the teacher said uh -huh. with the club. High standard hygiene. Ah, yes, yes. I think to um, um, offer, you need to offer uh, good um, platos, you know, dishes, dishes. Oh, dishes, dishes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and maybe in, 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 in this year, maybe, or in this, uh, or in this moment, and maybe you need to have um, good a good marketing in social media. You have to. Mm, yes. To, you have you need to have a Facebook and Instagram. You have to need you need to have a good for uh, good photographers and something like that i think because um, or, um maybe most of the people search the restaurant in that applications mm -hmm. so maybe 
uh, to establish a successful successful new dance club. Okay, the first. Uh, do you like dance club? Um, not so much. Or when you uh, when, when, when I was young. Yes, when you was younger. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but now I I can. <laughs> As I I like before pandemic I all right all right ladies and gentlemen times up times up please continue practicing on the platform and we will see you tomorrow good night Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Thank you for all. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. See, <laughs> See you tomorrow. You. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Continue bye, bye, working bye. on the platform. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night.